Hey guys, today I have a really fun video because we are going to be doing three looks and a review with a new palette that's coming out from Sugar Drizzle and <laughs> when I saw this palette I was like, oh my god, that is the cutest thing in the world because I love their theming. They're just so fun and so playful and also the color stories are adorable. So this is the MILF palette and it stands for Man, I Like Frogs. <laughs> And this is an all shimmer palette. As you can see, it is absolutely stunning. I've already done two looks with this. I will show you those at the end of the video. We're going to do one look together in the beginning. Um, I definitely have some thoughts. There are a couple of shades in here that I'm a little bit like iffy about, but overall this palette is stunning. Like some of these shimmers are absolutely insane. So I'm just excited to play more with this palette. Like I said, I think this palette is just so cute and I'm just excited. So we're just gonna, I guess, jump straight in because I don't wanna ramble too much in the beginning of this video. So I'm just gonna prime with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base and then we're gonna do some matte work. I'm not sure exactly what it is that I wanna do today. Maybe should have thought about that before I started filming, but like, when do I ever, right? But I definitely want to have some fun with this look. I want to play with probably like two or three of the shimmers. I feel like I've used most of them already in the other looks that I've done. So I just want to make sure that I use some of the shades that I haven't used yet. This palette launches on the 14th at 3 p.m. EST. I will have the information down below in my description box. I'm not sure about the price of this palette, but I'm sure I'll be able to find it and list it down below in my description box as well because I am filming this kind of in advance. Also, I do have a code that will save you 10% off. It is affiliated. I'm pretty sure it's just Annette. It will be on the screen as well as down below. So let's see. I think I want to use... Uh, probably no one's going to be surprised by this, but I'm probably going to use my Blend Bunny palette because... Right? Uh, at this point, I don't think anyone is going to be surprised by that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm first going to decide on which color in this palette that I want to have on my lid or like which colors and then I will build my look around that and kind of pick out the mattes. <laughs> my husband just got back from the gym and my dog is very excited as I'm sure you can tell. So the shades that I've used so far, I've used this shade, this shade, this shade, a little bit of this shade, I think, this shade, this shade, this shade. I think I've used most of them except for like these two darker ones. So I'm thinking I'll use probably this shade as well as this shade on my lid and do kind of like a dark look. That's sort of like my plan. Not like too dark. Like I do want this to be mostly on my lid and maybe I'll do a pop of green on my lower lash line. But I think I want this to sort of be like the outer corner shade, which is a very dark purpley definitely has a shift to it. It's like a brown, purple, reddish shade. So what am I going to do with that? I definitely want to use black because how can I not? So let's see. I'm going to take, maybe I'll do, I think I'm actually going to switch to the Surge palette instead because this one has just like some different tones that I felt like I kind of want to play with today. So I'm thinking I want to use this shade at least and then maybe even the orange that's gonna be a weird look, but maybe also kind of cool. And I haven't really played with warm tones with this hair color, so I wanna kind of see like how the contrast is going to be. And I think they're going to work well together and then deepen it up with the black. Oh man, this is gonna be a strange look, but why not, right? So I'm gonna actually start with a shade called Juicy here, which is a beautiful orange matte. I'm not gonna to spend too much time kind of going through what I'm doing with the mattes because that is, they are not the, well, they are kind of the star of the show because they're so amazing, but <laughs> that's not what this video is about. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my crease work. Not gonna lie, I am proud of myself for straight hair with black because I did not go crazy, which I usually do. So I think this looks really nice. Now we're gonna go into the front part, which is the shimmers. I am going to put down a little bit of glitter primer before I do the shimmer stove because I just prefer doing that, especially with a formula like this because it is so much more intense if you put on top of a tacky eyeshadow primer than if you just put it on dry. So I just wanna make sure that these really pop. I'm not using a whole lot. I'm just using a little bit 
just to get a base down, basically putting this all over my lid because I do want to layer the darker shimmer over the darker matte on the outer corner. So I'm going to go into the palette and I'm first going to grab the shade called Frog Life, which is the dark one. And I'm excited to see what this one is going to look like because I think it's going to be beautiful. So I think after this, there's only one shade in the palette that I haven't really dipped into. But other than that, I've tried all of the other ones very properly. So oh, that looks so good. Ooh, I love that color together with these crease colors. I think that that looks amazing. Like you might look at this palette on its own and be like, that is a very cool tone palette. And like, yes, it is. But that doesn't mean you can't pair it with something that's warm tone and still have it look amazing because I love how that looks together. And then for the rest of my lid, I'm gonna take the shade here called Leap, which is going to be so foiled and so beautiful and just everything that I want in my eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna put that basically all over the rest of my lid here. Oh, this is just such a beautiful shade, I love that. I'm gonna go quite heavy with this and really just get a very nice, smooth, wet looking application and just make sure I blend that nicely into the other shimmer. Look how beautiful that looks. Ooh, I love, I really like the contrast between this more warmer crease and like the cool tone lid. I think that works very nicely together. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off with my other eye. I'll do some liner and mascara. I think this is all I wanna do actually for the shimmers. And I'm just gonna come back when the look is done and I can show you the other two looks that I've done as well as some thoughts I have about this palette. All right, so the look is done and I can't really tell you some of the other things that are on my face, like my highlighter and my eyeliner and some other things because there's a very exciting collection launching pretty soon that I'll have a video up on and I can't wait to show you guys, but as of right now, I'm just testing the things out so that I, you know, can have a good review for, for all of you when I do post my video, but let's go ahead and talk about the palette. So I guess I will show you the looks that I've done with this just while I talk about this palette. So I've done two looks and I really enjoyed the looks of the looks that I did. <laughs> I don't know if that came out wrong, but you know what I'm trying to say. I think that this palette, the color story is absolutely stunning. The theming is so, so cool. And most of the shades in this palette are incredible. Now I do have sort of one gripe with like these kind of formulas and these kind of palettes that have all shimmers in them. There's a lot of brands that are coming out with these and there's a lot of brands that are using or that have like a very, very similar eyeshadow formula. And sometimes like in the pants, in the palette, they, it's almost like they have too much binder in them and the binder or like the liquid sort of seeps into the palette and it starts looking a little bit, how do I say this, greasy or like, like the palette is starting to look wet, like the liquid is seeping into like the cardboard and the cardboard is, you know, the color is changing and it just looks a little bit gross. <laughs> Like I'll show you when I'm done with the looks what I'm talking about, but it's just something that I've sort of noticed because there are a couple of shades in here that when swatching them, they feel very uh, wet, especially one shade in particular. It's the shade called Ribbit. This one is so creamy that it's like almost too creamy. Like it's it's almost like a, it's it's a cream rather than an eyeshadow, if if you know what I mean. Like if if you kind of felt a shadow like this, you know what I'm trying to say. And I don't love that because with there being so much binder in this shadow, it just, it, I put it on my eyes and it didn't set at all and it started creasing after like an hour and after a few hours, it was basically gone from my eyelid. And so that shade, even though it looks beautiful, it swatches beautifully, it's just way too creamy. It has way too much binder in it. I don't know if that was intentional or if that was something that happened on accident when they were making the palettes, but I'm not able to use that shade just because of the way the formula of that shade is. The color I really love. Uh, I don't have anything to complain about with that one. And also the shade that I used today called Leap. This one doesn't feel as uh, liquidy and creamy as the shade called Ribbit, but it's still, it, it's still, you can tell by just looking at it in the pan because it's starting to like steep out from it that maybe it has a little bit too much binder in it. And I just find looking at palettes that have this happen, 
it's just a little bit off-putting and it makes me not want to use them. So if I feel like if there's a chance that this is going to happen with the palette and I feel like it would be a good idea for brands to like order a sample palette, you know, like in advance before they actually start producing the palettes just to see what happens and to just have the palette in their hands for a couple of weeks and like see if this is going to be an issue. But if it is an issue, maybe just do like a black background because it's just going to, you're not going to be able to see that this is happening. And for me, like, that would be so much better than having to look at this. Like I'll show you what the palette looks like and it's not a huge deal. Like you can see a little bit here, just like on the sides here and here, and you can see a little bit on this shade, but like usually it escalates. <laughs> like this is just the beginning and I've had this happen with, like I said, similar shades from other brands, as well as I think another shade from Sugar Drizzle as well, but the shadows still perform well, except for this one. This one is just, I'm gonna try to show you just like how creamy this is, but it's almost like a, a putty formula and it's really it's kind of hard to explain but it's it's just extremely creamy and it just sort of like moves around in the pan here it definitely acts more like a cream than a powder and there's like no kick up whatsoever it's it's extremely creamy i don't know how many times i can say that but it's it's a problem because as someone who has hooded eyelids, the shadow just doesn't last on me, but it's a beautiful inner corner shade still. And I can still use it for that purpose. And I still think that is a good inclusion in the palette. I just wish the formula was a little bit different. But other than that, like looking past all those little mini things, I think that this palette is really, really pretty. I love this bottom row of greens. I love greens. I also love this shade. I put a little bit of it like underneath my eye today because I just, I needed to use it again. This is probably my favorite shade in the palette. This one is beautiful as well. These two right here are multi-chromes and I used those in the second look that you saw. Stunning, so beautiful. They wore really, really well on me, which black base multi-chromes tend to not wear that well on me, but these two actually did really, really well. So overall, I'm really happy with this palette, even though there are a couple of shades that I'm just like nitpicking a little bit about, but I mean, Look at this, like this is so pretty and I'm still really happy that I have this palette in my collection. And I just, I'm just excited about the brand. Like I think that their theming is what makes them special because they have shades that other brands have as well, but they put them together in a way that makes you want them. <laughs> and that's as a brand what you should be doing because that's how you sell products and that's how you make money. So <laughs> I think they're doing a really good job and I can't wait to see what they do in the future. Like I said, the information about the launch time and the price and everything will be down below in my description box as well as my code if you're interested in picking it up. Uh, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you wanna see some other multiple look video reviews, I will have my playlist up on the screen. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.